We started the process with a foot-long bar of 1018 cold rolled steel. Ideally, we would have used a higher carbon steel, but none was available to us due to time constraints. Here we have a small electric Lindbergh heater. The temperatures it reached were 1,025 degrees Celsius, which was not enough, but we made do with what we had. After the steel was red hot, we took it out of the oven and began to shape it. We couldn't get our hands on an anvil, so we had to use a piece of railroad track. Once we had the tang and blade formed, we used an angle grinder to clean up the edges and define the shape. Here you can see the formed blade compared to our starting material. Once the blade was formed, we heat treated it. The process involved heating up the metal and quenching it. As Canadians, we decided to use snow for the quenching. We quickly found out this was a bad idea and repeated the heat treatment using water. After quenching, we put it in a tempering oven at 300 degrees for three hours. With the heat treatment completed, we proceeded to perform a Rockwell hardness test using the Rockwell C scale. Once the property tests were conducted, the blade was ready to be polished. We started with 60 grit sandpaper and progressively worked our way up to 1000 grit. With the blade finished, all we had to do was make a handle. We would have preferred to make it out of bone, but did not get the opportunity due to time constraints.